I'm fortunate to make it my career. Um, so I'm definitely living out my, my childhood dream and, and fortunate to, to be able to do that and call it my job. But I love being a part of the team and being able to put the pieces together of the puzzle to beat the guy next to you. I love the competition and I love to win. Teammate and driver of the number 10 car, Arik Almarola, shares a similar dedication to motorsports, following in his grandfather's footsteps from an early age. My grandfather raced uh, wing sprint cars on dirt, like my boss, Tony Stewart, and he was very successful. So I would go to the racetrack and watch him race. And when my grandfather retired, he asked me if I wanted to race. And of course, my eyes lit up and I said yes. And he bought me a go-kart. I was eight years old and the rest was history. I played baseball from the time I was four, but the go-kart was way more exciting. It's not just the drivers that live and breathe motorsports. There's a dedicated crew willing to work all hours necessary to get the four SHR cars race ready every weekend. You start out at a young age doing and you get a, you get a taste of that competition, I think. And it's ultimately what fuels all of us. Beating the guy beside you, figuring out something, getting that advantage, and working together as a team. You know, the camaraderie of our sport is unbelievable. And it takes each and every person doing 100% on their job every minute of every day just to produce a car capable of winning. So when you can get that kind of flowing and gelling and clicking, that's when it's the most fun. My dad being a mechanic and me working for him as a mechanic, obviously the love of cars has always been there. I love it for the competition aspect of things. There's no greater high and no bigger low than winning a race or having things not go your way. It's definitely the competitor in me that keeps striving for that and the passion for racing that keeps me so interested. I went to the first NASCAR race in 1987 and I was kind of hooked there so I knew that that's what I wanted to do and, and my path to get there was to go to school for engineering and, and I got an internship with a race team while I was in school and uh, I'm getting, being able to do what I love to do full time. I've been involved in racing since I was five of either racing something or, or helping somebody and just the competition is what just drives you and that's the cool thing about working here. It's all about racing and all about winning. And that's a mentality that Tony has brought and instilled in everybody here. Whatever it takes, doesn't matter what the hours are, what the cost is, and a lot of times it's uh, do what you gotta do to be first. The hard work, long hours, and total commitment from everyone at SHR makes victory all the sweeter on race day. Pulling into victory lane and seeing those guys' faces and how happy they are, that to me is more exciting than the joy that I get out of it. The goal is to win races, and that is, for me, the ultimate achievement. And, and the thing that keeps driving me is wanting to win the next race and wanting to win somewhere else and wanting to win with a new rules package or, a, or the Mustang or whatever it may be. So the competition and winning as a group is definitely the thrill for me. With Kevin Harvick behind the wheel and in the seat, you know each and every week you have an opportunity to win. And we've had that a long time on the four car, and we look forward to having it for like a couple more years to come at least. And, we're excited for that, so it just keeps you coming back, it keeps you hungry, and it keeps you wanting to compete.